All right, so I went to one of my previous projects where the frame does work, and uh, I went uh, and looked at it and I said, oh, this might not be early enough because the, the uh, cool house hadn't been developed yet. And so I went to the first floor plan and I looked at this section, 107.3, which is section three, and I said, oh, this is before the frames and the pictures went in. Uh, but then I, so I didn't, I didn't have the, uh, so I went to my reveal hidden elements, which actually did show that I had the frames in there. And so I opened up the family, the frame family, and then I loaded that into my project. So if we go back to this section right here, I put um, the frame in here and then I put the picture and you can see the picture is much larger than the frame, but only the picture that's inside of the frame can be seen. So I'm going to delete these frames. I think. Okay. And we're going to really hard isolate. Oh, yeah, we did a little reset. I did that because. I wanted to see now. But I also have a question about this frame. If I grab this frame, it's going to be messed up here. Uh, the answer is no, which means that I could make it tall or raise or make it higher if I wanted to. But what did we say? These frames are going to be, uh, this is type one. We're going to edit the type. This frame, we said uh, frame height was 7 to 11. And I think we said the width was 5 feet. So let's take a look at that. Okay. Now I can grab that frame and bring it down. Let's say we want to put it right here. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. So now, it, all right, everything fits there. Now, remember the issue here. Uh, that's supposed to be decal A. So let's switch it. Okay, decal A is there. Now the frame, you need to duplicate those. So what is this guy called? Generic model wall frame. So it's a generic model. And it's a wall frame. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So type one. All right. Then I'm going to call architecture component is type two or here. And then I use architecture component three D. And the reason I'm doing that is I found that the frames having the same name will show up in this view as with different uh, pictures inside of it. But when I render it, it turns out that um, uh, it puts the same picture in each one, each frame. So anyway, this is 
Would you say the properties of that were? 7-11 by 5. Okay, so we're going to make this guy 7-11 by 5. And then this guy will be 7-11 by 5. Get this five gig height is seven eleven. Okay. I think we're going to be in good shape now. So let's insert a decal and replace a decal. We did seventeen. A, we want to do 17B right here. And we want to do 17C, insert, decal, place a decal, 17C. Ready? Okay, now let's see. The size of this picture is 711 tall. All right, so we'll make this guy 711 tall. And drag him down. Okay, and then we'll make this guy 711 tall. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Now let's see. Like there. This and this. I'm just going to drag it down. Let's see. Not close. Zoom in a little bit closer here. The closer you zoom in, the less uh, motion the object moves. So you can see it's going to move just a little bit here. If I zoom out, it will, each time I hit the down arrow on the keyboard, I'm going to zoom in because I want it to be kicked out. So we'll go to architecture and go to our reference plane. Let's grab that reference plane right here. Come across and we'll see. I did not do a very good job of eyeballing it, but I can. Grab this frame, get it. Then we're going to grab this frame. So then moving the keyboard up. Okay, so now I've got my artwork in there, which I like. Let's save this. And you might want to take a new camera shot.
I don't know if it's showing me the pictures or not in this rendering, but I, I'm pretty sure that it will. Yes, it does. Look at that. Okay. Now, this has some map board on the inside. This one doesn't. This one doesn't either. So different uh, frame types. But I do have different images there. Let's see for zoom extents. And interior sun and artificial. Okay. View render in the cloud. This time we'll do a better resolution. I know that I still have to fix the object in the back there on that wall. There's plenty of things to do to get this guy exactly right. So I know there's something wrong over here. Now it looks like this doesn't go all the way back to this wall anymore. Look at that. So let's look at that section and see what happened there. So that would be, let's go to the first floor architectural. This is the section we want to look at. Let's go to that view. And this looks like my ceiling does go where it's supposed to. I can stretch it a little bit more. Maybe to, whoops, that's too much. Stretch it to the inside of the base of the gypsum board. But I think it was okay. So, And there we have it, uh, better frame. Sometimes when we go to uh, Rabbit City, we get the frames that don't, or we get families that don't work exactly the way we want them to. But here, I have a frame. I know that in this tutorial, I should tell you where that frame is located, uh, but that was several years ago and I got that frame out of that project. So anyway, here it is. So I'm starting to look a little bit better now. You can see that that frame wasn't working, but it definitely works here. And it looks good. And so I need to fix this. And of course, there's plenty more work to do, but I like, uh, I like it. I think it's all right. I might lower the, our, this arch way down a little bit more, clean that up. But this is a good stepping 